All right, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's FM back once again with a PS3 video for you guys. It's a quick, easy, fast tutorial video how to install and use anyone's modded or legit save games on the PS3. Usually, there was a method where you use a program. What was the name of that software? PS3 Explorer or something? And you use that to resign save games and so on. Anyway, with that all said, let's jump into this and. Uh, yeah, let's go. You do not need a jailbroken PS3 for this. It works on HFW as well as on CFW. And if you're on hand with the A, uh, it should, you should be able to use it as long as you can install a PKG file. Got it? Nice. You also need a USB. Yep, we're gonna download and install one PKG file, which I will not show in this video because then I'll go into details and the video will like get longer and longer, that's what she said. And uh, I will get more complaints that the whole video is, I don't know, too long. So I'm gonna keep it as short as possible. If you want, I can make a separate video on how to install the PKG, but I will do my best to explain it in our community forum. So check it out. Links are provided in the description down below. Check it out. Um, I'm just gonna demonstrate on this. It has the Black Ops 1, all Intel and all trophies and stuff, and almost 100% completion of a multiplayer or something. Uh, yeah, a save game, not mine. I will demonstrate it on this. So clear, cool, let's plug it in. Okay, while the USB is in, you go to, oh, it has been a long time, save data utilities on your PS3. And we have Black Ops 1 here, go to USB, and we have Black Ops 1. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and copy that, but let's check out, but yeah, let's check out this one, what is this? Okay, go to USB. I'm gonna copy that. Yes, yes. Uh, depending on the game, now the, oh, there we go. You, you see, it already recognizes uh, that it's not mine. It says, depending on the game, another user's save data cannot be used. Furthermore, trophies cannot be earned when playing a game using another user's save data. Interesting, okay. Uh, yes, we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And it should not take a long time. And once that's done, uh, let's just go ahead and launch Black Ops 1. As soon as the game reads, or is trying to read the HDD, it's gonna say like, hey, you have a save file, delete it. So let, let, let's just uh, load a bit. Okay, so like I said before, uh, there is a way where you can use the uh, PlayStation button or some sort of it. And it was an app developed or Kind of like a program software thingy. It was developed by our uh, one of our admins, and uh, I made a video about it. So yeah, check it out at the end. Um, okay, we're gonna quit the game. So now we know that the PlayStation 3 of the game, at least, is not allowing us to play with someone else save game. What are we going to do? Uh, well. We are going to launch Apollo Save Tool. So this is the Apollo Tool, the PlayStation 3 game save game tool. And you have different options. You have USB saves, HDD saves, online, and options and about. So there's another review. I can if you want. I can even make a separate video on how to install this thing. Um, but okay. Um, so we have currently we have a usb save but we can also save the save game somewhere in our hdd and install that way or you can go to online and it's going to load save games uh, because you know i made a mistake um instead of um instead of we need to go to hdd saves because the save game yes it is on the ps3's usb not the HDD, so uh, you, you get the point. So in HDD, these are your save games on the PS3. So because we copied over to the HDD, so we're gonna go to Black Ops, and here we're gonna do apply patches and resign, and boom, save file successfully resigned. Just with a single press of a button, 
Now what you want to do is quit this application, launch the game. However, what I would do is do a quick a reboot. So reboot your system, turn on and off, turn off and then turn back on uh, manually or use a toolbox or some sort. I don't have a toolbox, so I got fingers though. So let's say you have like your favorite games and uh, modded or legit. It doesn't really doesn't matter. Uh, it's just you can now resign save games, any save games, and with just a single press of button, it does everything for you. It 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 recognizes your ID of your account and then boop puts it together and it should work. So now we're gonna find out if it works. Reading HDD and it should it usually it gives an error right there. But it didn't. Maybe now. Nope. It did not. So if you go to how can I find the Intel's options? If you go to campaign and we do uh, Intel. Okay. Nope. Mission select. Okay. We got all campaign. That, oh, maybe that's why. Okay, full campaign, we have that, sure. Um, and it said Dead Ops Arcade unlocked, but you know, we got everything unlocked. So that's basically how you uh, resign any save game uh, with just one single press of button. Now you can check for modded uh, uh, PS3 save games and get it. Usually, if you want something that's modded and you don't have a jailbreak or hand, you need a modded backup. Not anymore. You don't need it anymore. Comment down below what you think about it. And of course, also comment down below if you want me to make an installation tutorial video. Check it out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I do upload different rides of videos. I will do PS3 streams and videos more often. Don't worry. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.